Greetings Marines, Fiot here, and in today's vid, one that many people have been requesting, we finally got our hands on the heirloom standoff, and we will be modding it to bits. Yesterday on Scream I got a lot of pressure from the fans, and they were like, dude, get the heirloom now, play with the heirloom, mod the heirloom. So, someone dropped a donation in the chat, and I was like, okay... I gave you my word, I'm gonna get it, got it on the spot, and started playing with it, four started, tried a few things on it, and for the purposes of this guide, I modded it three times for three different applications, and I will be explaining each one at a time in depth. I'm not even taking off the mods, guys, if some Gen Z wants to e extend the full power of their eight seconds attention span just to take three screenshots, and avoid all the information because they get too tired all the power to you kid go do it enjoy the fast lane but we're big boys here we go in depth we make guides we understand what we're doing and we're going to discuss it in depth so the heirloom standoff has an accuracy of 47 and stability of 48 pathetic old bone accounts damage of 165 reload speed is 0.24 the way it's modded but in order to give you the vanilla specs we're gonna go again so the heirloom standoff accuracy of 42 stability of 33 pretty pathetic on that regard damage of 165 reload time of 030 maximum of 9 instant chance of 33 percent fire rate of 4.7 magazine capacity of 6 weak point damage of 155 and no handling Stumble, Stumble and Weak Point Damage are the three first stars, 5% each. And at the end we go plus 1% Stumble Chance from hit for 3 seconds. This effect stacks per projectile that hits and stacks up to 10 times. The heirloom shoots 11 pellets. Okay, so get a full bore on an enemy and you got 10% more Stumble on your gun. So, this is the very vanilla, very first thing that you're going to see. And this is my Close Encounters build. This is the optimal way, in my handle opinion, to handle this gun. We're going to go Assault Break. The Lord! Internal Magazine will be Rapid Dispersal. And our Barrel will be Ratchet. What are we doing with this configuration here? This thing is a very close quarters gun, it's not the pump, okay, we have to come to grips with the fact that this is not the pump, it's not replacing the pump, it's not doing the work of the pump, and it doesn't need to. This is an unloader, you fire six shells into the enemy, hope for the best. When you will be this close with this kind of damage fall off that you see here, which is totally ridiculous, you want to be able to reload, if I take rapid dispersal out and I just empty it, I'm looking at this. You do not want to be looking at this. Okay? Not with this gun. So you go rapid dispersal. You empty it. And then you have this reload vanilla. But because you hit enemies with it. You get 10% reload speed for 8 seconds on hit. This effect stacks 4 times. 4 pellets will hit of course. And you get 40%, that's 65% reload speed. As you saw in the opening clip, it's lightning fast. This makes the gun the most consistent it can be. Now, what about the handling here? People don't know it, but handling doesn't just swap your guns faster, okay? This potato of reticule here will become much smaller and much more condensed if I ADS. To ADS, I pull my left trigger. This ADS process is managed by the handling factor. So if you're gonna ADS and snap a shot, having high handling will actually make your life that much more easy. It makes the gun extremely consistent, even after slightly longer ranges where it usually suffers. Now that we're talking about ranges, we're gonna go for the second one, the counterweight build. This is supposed to do two things, give you utility on the heirloom and slightly deeper shots. So we're going to start with precision break, weak point damage and effective range. We're going to go rapid dispersal again because if we're not reloading here, we are pooped. And then we're going to go Miller Twist. Miller Twist gives you 20 chance on hit to slow an enemy by 50% for 10 seconds. That is a per pellet chance, so you are applying this slow. 
if you are spreading the love six shells out of this baby will hit left and right and due to the dispersal of the shot because it's not a pinpoint accurate weapon by any means you will be applying slow to a general area in front of you the heirloom is not the best weapon to do this not by a long shot but it is the shotgun that gets the battles so we have to creatively mod it to see if we can do anything other than fire fast and reload faster this is a very interesting one you can use it for utility and uh, indeed the precision break will make the shots go deeper i will swap in between the builds to see the damage fall off it doesn't even like show but uh you can be you sure that you will experience it like you will feel it a uh, good idea would have been to push for accuracy but if we push for accuracy we have to really like swap stuff around a lot more because let's take for example yeah assault break assault break is the go to that we want to use and it gives you 10 accuracy 10 accuracy will shrink your cone but then again you're not going for effective range you're losing the actual effective range the distance at which the gun will still optimally damage the enemy so this is utility not what i would suggest for this gun unless you're gonna go for a very 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 specific approach to how you deliver slow in a cone in front of you now the last one is interesting i call the scalpel and uh, this is just fire rate fire rate and fire rate and you know where i'm going with this my onslaught build on the lancer is like this now there is no enemy in this game that can withstand this amount of firepower and before you say cool i'm gonna remind you that i'm alone on the endeavor without a gunner so with a gunner and this thing the amount of shells you'll be popping out will be insane the damage output that will be popping out will be insane and you won't believe it when you see it happen to a warrior on insane when 40 cells will go into its skull for 5000 damage each and you'll be laughing and giggling with your friends and having a great time this however this build is uh, i'd say exclusive to the lancer don't go with this and any other class because the gun will be reloading like ass and you will be feeling sorry for yourself while you're getting eaten okay so my go-to close encounters build assault break rapid dispersal and ratchet good balance of fire rate handling and very very snappy reloads the other two you can experiment with and i'm gonna make a couple of mentions here I know the idea after reinforced battle, but it states a melee kill. Even with this damage augment, you're looking at around 500 HP. When you kill something with melee in this game, you get acid damage. I love melee in Fire Team Elite. You know I use it a lot on the streams as well. But it is not a viable solution to get your reload in. Guys, it just is not. Okay. It will not get work done for you. If you have it, like, as a call for chats and giggles on Intense go for it it's not optimal in any way don't make yourself believe it is because you would like it to be and auto loader 50 percent chance to auto load 15 percent of the current magazine it takes six cells i mean you're gonna sacrifice fire rate overall utility and reload just to have a chance of getting one cell in on a six cells gun no i know people love auto loader but this is not the gun to use it these are my two cents or rather my three cents on the heirloom standoff and it took a while guys you can be sure that when i am able to fulfill a request i always try to do it so sub like and share hit the notification bell if you want to be notified about uploads and streams and if you really want to support me more directly please 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 consider patreon or get a membership on the channel it really helps a lot and streamers have to eat as well until next time be well stay frosty and always try for perfection marines Cheers!